सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन द संजीवनी महाविद्यालय सापलीज यूट्यूब ऑनलाइन वीडियो क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द नेक्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ऑफ वाटर और वाटर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ एयर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी दिस इज द नेक्स्ट यूनिट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज मीन बाय वाटर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड the types of water so before that it is very important to know about water it is a very important component of the all living things because without water each and every living things they are not on the earth it means this is the basic basic nutritional requirement that is the water water is a transparent fluid which forms the world streams lakes ocean and rain it is the major contents of fluid of living organisms it covers near about 70 per 71% of the earth it means that 71% of the earth it is occupied by the water so what is uh, much more than the soil on the earth and it is very important so you'll see why water is important because water is the medium of life medium of life means due to the basic requirements it requires for all purpose water is required for uh, each and every cells unicellular as well as multicellular cells water is required for biochemical reactions water is required for physiological reactions water is required for enzymatic reactions water is required for genetic reactions and water is required for each and every process of the living thing that's why they can say that it is the medium of life all organisms are composed primarily of water yes no doubt because each and every cells of the living things which are composed of water and other other contents other biochemical agents but water is a major as compared to other compounds liquid water is the medium in which all cellular chemical reactions occur yes because due to the liquid in uh, liquid nature of the water or it is the medium in which all cellular chemical reactions each and every reactions of living things that happens in the liquid conditions and what is the liquids that's why water is important for each and every cellular chemical reactions water is essential for survival and growth of organisms yes water is important because it requires for survival most of the living things they are present in the water inside the waters and that's why water is important for survival purpose it means the moves from one place to another place with the help of water and water is also required for growth is yes. without water growth of each and every living things is not happens due to the presence of water what happens it helps due to the cellular chemical reactions in the presence in the presence of water what happens each and every uh, chemical reactions they are biochemical reactions occur in the body that's why the growth of organisms are observed now let's see what is mean by water microbiology water microbiology it is the branch of microbiology which deals with the study of the microorganisms like viruses bacteria algae protozoa and fungi fungi which are present in the waters so that microorganisms we are going to study in the water microbiology or in other way we can say that uh, it is a study of microorganism and their activities in the fresh estuarine and marine waters including springs lakes rivers and seas which inhabits these natural waters so we are going to study the different kinds of microorganisms which are present in the waters so in the 
on the earth or inside also no doubt there are different types of water there are different types of water atmospheric water surface water ground water and stored water so let us see one by one the types of water so first is the atmospheric water so atmospheric water is the water which comes from rain and snow on the surface of ground it means atmospheric water is the water which is which is present or which comes from rain and snow or we can say also it is a rain water and snow water that's why it is called as atmospheric waters initially at the at the uh, at the upper side of the here the water it becomes free from microorganisms but when it it comes from up to downwards directions during the rain and the snow what happens they are connected with the dust or any other particles or airborne microorganism or bacteria it means they are they becomes contaminated with the microorganisms that's why it is called as atmospheric water this is the example of atmospheric water after that we'll see the surface water once the atmospheric water comes on the surface of ground that water it becomes called as surface water so surface water is the water on the surface of the planet or the soil such as in a river lake where land ocean streams sea that type of water it is called as surface water it means the water which becomes stored which becomes collected when the rains and snow water it touches on the surface and the water it is in the different forms that water is called as surface water non saline surface water is replenished by precipitation and by recruitment from the ground water it means that it's stored in different forms so these are the examples it these are the pictures we can this shows that it is a lake water it ponds water it stream water rivers it means that it is a surface water which are in different forms so we'll see the next type of water that is uh, the ground water ground water is the water present beneath or inside the earth surface in soil pore spaces and in fractures of rock formations it means after the surface after the collection of water on the surface and it it is in the different forms that is the rivers stream sea or seen ponds afterwards the that water it becomes percolated it they percolate inside the earth inside the ground through pore size and that water which is stored in the in the soil soil pores or in the fractures of rock that water is called as ground water this is these are the example open wells tube wells then uh, aristian well and infiltrations it means these are the different pictures are different types of stored water in different forms uh, so these are the also these are the uh, uh, pictures shows pond how the uh, the water stored the ponds lakes stored in on the surface of waters so all these are the different uh, type of waters and uh, these are the types of waters we studied here so afterwards we will see the sources of microorganisms in waters that part we will see in the next lecture so students it is very important to uh, watch the video regularly i watch again and again and uh, that video helps you to uh, to solve your questions that uh, videos 
they are very important because uh, we are discussing we are giving details information about that okay in the next lecture we'll see the sources of microorganism in water till then bye